Well, hello and welcome to Montana. We're out digging for gold today and the air is so thick with forest fire smoke, you could about choke on it. Welcome to the new normal in Montana. Let it burn, let it burn, let it burn. Uh, that's enough of that. Hey, I am out with the new uh, build a sluice prototype number actually three um, I'm getting happier and happier with this I wanted to see if I could 3d print a sluice box with more options than anything else out there that you could think of um, versatility um, all kinds of things so I'm well on my way I'm pretty excited I did do a run with this this morning and yeah, I think I nailed it. So we'll go over this. And there's, I don't know if I can do it all today. I don't know how it's going to go. But yeah, this thing eventually is going to have a power head, which is printing at the house right now. High Baker, maybe a Trommel. Um, different options as far as how you configure the mat. The mat's all new. Um, sliding levelers. Anyway, let me get the camera. I'll show you what I got, what I'm digging. And I don't want to spend too much time going over that stuff, but I'll show you what I got going. So first off, this loose box. Um, I had a yellow one, a little bit shorter, different uh, grizzly bar mats in it. Um, it worked really well. I was happy with it, but always improving things. So now, the levelers, not only do they adjust up and down, but they slide in here on this rail, back and forth. All you do is loosen up this nut here. I got a little bit of dirt out of there, but the levelers are adjustable this way, as well as up and down with one screw. And when they're not full of dirt, they work great. Um, so it's level that way. Um, up here I did change it. The mat goes under this lip up here. Then we've got a high low V that comes up. And then we have, oh this mat. Look how deep this, these riffles are for running unclassified material. They're deep, they're rough. They're not like any other mat you've seen. So we got a real coarse one here. We got the grizzly bars carrying the big rocks down. Then it drops here. And we got some drop riffles here, here, and here. This goes up, comes down this side. Then I switched them around and turned it opposite. And then we got the big coarse riffles here, big coarse riffles here, and down and out. Um, there's lots to do on this yet, but this is the basic idea. It bolts together. It's got uh, all thread on all four corners holding it together. Oh, and wait. Turn the mat over. Oh, so you can run unclassified material on this side of the mat. And turn it over and run all your fines or classified material on this side of the mat. So depending on how today goes, I might run this when I get home. I might have to wait for another time, depending on how the power head works out. But I ran a little bit of dirt over here. And yeah, we're getting some gold, a couple nice flakes in there, and some fines. I'm digging, I'll show you if I can get over there. Right here under these tree roots here, this tree that fell over. I dug out of the roots before we didn't find much. But that's what I've dug this morning. Just a little tiny hole there. Uh, maybe 10 shovel full of dirt. Got some gold, so that's where we're going to stay. It's just setting up right there. So let me get this thing back in the water and I'll give you an idea how that mat's running. Um, I, I'm happy. It's better than the original version of the original Grizzly Bar mat, but hey, there was nothing wrong with that either, but this holds on to a lot less bigger rocks, 
allows it all to flow down. So let me get this set up. I'll quit jabbering. We got set up again. And I'm going to use a bucket to see if I can do this. Get my footy. Unclassified. Off. This is about uh, from the back to the top. There's about a six degree difference. So it helps keep the bigger rocks from just big, big ones going down the sluice. It rolls out. We're not getting big rocks stuck in the mat. Big rocks go down. It's not those deep ripples are so deep. They're not uh, clearing out the ripple. Put a little more angle on it, but good enough. down here. And you can see how it's working. They're not building to the top. They're staying active. And once I run this for a while, I can see the heavies sticking in the high-low Vs there. I like that way that's running. Okay, let me, uh, you can stay, see it staying active, clearing out the light stuff. So, back to digging some dirt. We'll pound some through here. And you know, one of the reasons I made these levelers slide, or wanted to, um, and it wasn't all my idea, but the reason I wanted to make them slide is they're always in the dang way. Um, if I'm shoveling from the back, uh, like I am now with unclassified material, it's a pain to have them up here because you want to dump in. Um, but if you're running, you know, something else, maybe you want to scoot them back. Uh, maybe there's a big rock there, you can move them back and forth. So anyway, I just thought that was a cool option. Back to running dirt. Yeah, getting a few nice flakes. Back to moving dirt. Well, I'll take a little break. I figured I'd show you how smoky it is out here if the camera will pick it up. Oh uh, yeah, there is a mountain right there. How smoky it is. It's just, 
I can see it in the trees within probably 50 feet of me. But that's the way she is. It's been smoky like this for weeks now. Well, back to digging. I think that's a piece of gold right there. A big one right there. It's just been sitting there. I keep shoveling and it ain't going nowhere. We'll find out. I think that's a piece of gold. Well, that was not a piece of gold, but there's one way down inside that pocket. Ah. There's a piece of gold. There's a piece of gold. There's a piece of gold. All up here in the header mat. There's a piece of gold. There's a piece of gold. Ah, uh, it's litter. There's a piece of gold. So right up here where I'm dumping all the big rocks in and heavy material, we're still catching the gold at the top of the mat, or some of it. Um, yeah, then I'm sure some's making it down here. One did for sure. There's one in this pocket. That's all I see. Oh, well, there's some pieces of gold on this up part right here. I don't know if the camera will pick it up. A couple pieces there. Cool, back to digging. Okay, I've been at it for a couple hours now. Um, it's starting to get hot. It's supposed to be in the 90s today. And I see a big plume of smoke coming up over there. I don't know if we got another fire, but there's no clouds in the sky. So I don't know what's going on there. Probably another fire. Who knows? Uh, here's my hole. I got a pretty big hole there. Not too bad. Um, I got to get this filled back in. I found out what I found, wanted to know about the mat. I absolutely love it. I think I nailed it big time. Super, super happy. Um, here's the, I'll give you a peek at the other side of the mat for classified. So one side's the Grizzly Bar mat. And this is the high-low V side. Comes up at a six degree angle here. Then. I'll have to show you the more, but then we got a 10 degree angle here. Then we drop into a mini nugget trap, a mini nugget trap, high low V, and then we, uh, so we got a six degree angle here. So if your, your uh, sluice is at uh, seven degrees or eight degrees, you got a three degree pitch. Then this one will go down to about 10. Then this one will go down to about seven degrees depending on how you got your sluice. So we got all kinds of different angles in here. Mini nugget traps, we got some drop riffles here. Uh, anyway, that's a quick peek at that. They're interchangeable. You can go either direction with them. So just thought I'd show that, but I think the power head and the recirculating side with the, uh, yeah, classified material and stuff will wait for another day or at least until I get home. See if I'm happy with a, with my fourth try. Uh, but so far, really, really happy. This is printed in a much stronger material than before. 
So that's good. Um, we did get a little bit of gold for a couple hours. Yeah, not too shabby at all. We got some pretty nice flakes in there, as well as some micro fine little dots. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I'm actually going to fill in my hole, get headed for home before it gets 90 some degrees out. And I'm going to be back up here tomorrow. Uh, my buddy Bob's coming with me, so we got two days of digging. Okay, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit that little notification bell to get updated because this thing's going to turn out pretty dang cool, I think. Uh, got lots of ideas. So anyway, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments, and we'll catch you next time. Bye now.